grain with the dura still intact. And these ones were shipped with part of their, their snouts attached and part of their eyes still attached. So you can see some features from the outside before you do any of the dissection. For instance, you can see this tough outer covering. That's the dura or the dura mater. This is the pineal gland. And if you pull the eyes apart, you can see the two optic nerves and they cross at the optic chiasma. The first step you're going to do is to take off the dura. With careful operation, you can get it to come off all in one piece. Remember, there's your pituitary. You are going to lose that when you pull off the dura matter. It's going to come off. And I already cut this, so that's why it's coming off so easy. And now you can see the dura. It's just this leathery covering. And now you see the cerebrum and the cerebellum. This opening here between the two is the transverse fissure. Okay. And then eventually you're going to cut it down the longitudinal fissure, but for now we're going to identify features from the external anatomy of the brain. The wrinkles of the brain, the raised parts are called the gyrus, and the indented parts are the sulcus. And often that black stuff there, that's just from where the blood coagulated. On the underside, these two are the olfactory nerves. And remember where the two optic nerves crossed? This is what's left of them at the optic chiasma. If you're lucky, you'll even end up leaving behind these two little nerves. Those are the oculomotor nerves. Down here at the brain stem, you have the midbrain. The little pooch or the bump there is the pons. And then behind it is the medulla. And notice it has a different texture than the spinal cord, which is there. So midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata, spinal cord. Okay. The place where the pituitary was attached, right there, remember, is called the pituitary stalk, also known as the infundibulum. The third phase, you're going to cut the brain down the longitudinal fissure right there. It's pretty easy to cut with a scalpel. Just gently go through. Keep the brain in the pan so you don't cut yourself. Kind of spread it apart and then slowly just work through. So the brain falls open. Now another interesting thing here is when you open the brain up, one of the features you're going to see from both the inside and the outside is this little structure here, which is on the inside. When you pull the cerebellum down, see that part there that kind of looks like a butt? That's called the superior colliculi, and the smaller butt underneath it is the inferior colliculi. So there's the superior, and then the inferior is underneath it. And then even deeper within there, kind of like to say it's in the butt crack, is there a little nub, which is your pineal gland. So if you look in the butt crack, there's the pineal gland. You can also see it from the inside. There's your superior colliculi. There's your inferior colliculi. And the pineal gland is there. You might see it better on this side. I have to cut it a little bit off center, but there it is on this side. Okay. Superior colliculi, inferior colliculi, pineal gland. All right, other features from the inside corpus callosum, and then the ventricle underneath it is the lateral ventricle. Bordering it underneath that is this little structure called the fornix. Underneath it is another ventricle called the third ventricle. This round shaped object there is the thalamus, and below it is the hypothalamus, which is where your pituitary gland was attached. So thalamus, hypothalamus, what was left of your pituitary gland. Corpus callosum, 
lateral ventricle, fornix, third ventricle. Back here is your cerebellum, and you can see when you, if you cut it nicely, you can see the little white matter there, which is known as the arbor vitae. And then the fourth ventricle is actually underneath it. And I think that covers it. Beautiful.